it's mailbag time again. Let's see what I purchased this time. So you know what to buy next week. Don't forget to subscribe if it's the first time here. Click the bell icon to get notifications about new videos. Right. So this is a SMA, but if you look there, it's got 3dB on the side of it and 6G. So it's supposed to be a 3 decibel attenuator with an SMA connection, so it's passed through. I also ordered some adapters as well to SMC when I was working on the Draco Dana. And I thought I'll get a little attenuator as well, because this was fairly cheap. I don't know how good it really is, who knows. But uh, we'll give it a go anyway. I'll probably test it at some point. Oh, I hate these packets. Anyway, what's this? The hell's that? What? Uh, what? It's some wire. Uh, what? Hey? Eh? <laughs> On the description it says ceiling strip. I don't remember buying any enameled wire for anything. Maybe I did, I just don't remember doing it. That's odd. Hmm. Here is a little assortment of jumper wire things. So these are for use on breadboards. I've been meaning to get one of these kits for a while. Um, I don't do breadboard stuff that much, but from time to time I'll do some. And when I have wanted to do that, it's been a bit of a pain trying to link things together and do it nicely. And So I thought I'd get one of these little kits. I thought oh, it could be handy. You know, They're pretty cheap. They're not expensive to get at all. Things to have in your arsenal with tools to use. Uh, <laughs> wow. Okay. Now I went through a little phase of buying a whole bunch of potentiometers and switches and stuff like that. Oh, would have been about November, I think October, November last year. These have finally arrived. I haven't even been before that. So these are 10k pots. Standard pots, nothing particularly exciting about them. Single turn, no centre detent, and all that. Just a 10k pot. And these have got the nuts and stuff with them as well, which is good. So these I was getting for doing my CB repair stuff where um, you know, I've got a whole bunch of radios which have been liquid damaged. Well, salt water damaged. I need to replace the pots on them all. So I'm getting a selection of different pots and things I might need. I really need to go and do those videos and actually recall doing some of those repairs. Anyway, I probably have all the ones I need now, actually. But those took ages to arrive. It's like six months. Right. If you like my mailbag videos, don't forget to give us a thumbs up as well. It helps the channel. If you want to have a chat down below, discuss things, offer opinions, please do that too. So these are like cleaning swab things. So sometimes you're trying to clean things, trying to get into really tight spots. And so with these, you've got like a little fine cotton tip on them. So if you're trying to get into like corner little crevices and stuff like that, or round components, you could use these instead of the standard cotton swabs because these are far finer if you need to try and get right into something. It's basically a wooden stick with a cotton swab on the end of it. I don't know, you can see the cotton on there very well, I don't know. Can you? Maybe? Yeah, that angle gives you a slightly better view. Always handy to have things like this. Um, there's been times when I wished I had something finer than a cotton swab. I mean, there's been times I had to use like a tweezer wrapped in a cloth and that sort of stuff to try and get into fine the crevices and stuff. So now I've got these things, so it's great. I should have got these ages ago. And I don't think there'll be links for down below for all these items as well. Just go and check those out. A couple of binding posts. I don't remember what I exactly bought these for now. They're retained ones, so you can't lose the end. These are just be brass. Look quite short size that is, it's probably 4mm or something, is it? Probably 4mm right through. So you hold for the centre there for the wires, you want to do a trap wire, or you want to do a, a spade. Although, it's got this lip here. Yeah. It's a bit of a curious fitment, this one. The top piece will come right down. It doesn't look right, is it just, or is it just an illusion? No. Yeah, I think I found a problem with these. So, 
it's falling apart. So what it looks like is that that top clamp won't actually clamp right down. Wow, that is nothing to hold that in place. Look at that. Just a little washer. <laughs> These aren't very good quality ones, obviously. But what I was looking at is that when you tighten this down, it will tighten onto the washer, right? What's happening is that washer isn't actually thick enough. It's recessed inside that mounting here. So because the washer is so thin, it's not actually going to work. If I use both washers, now that's flush, maybe. See that with both washers in there? Oh, it's still got a slight recess there. So what's happening when you clamp this thing down, it's not actually clamping onto the washer, it's clamping onto the plastic. That's pushing the plastic, not the washer. So the design isn't great. Yeah, these aren't very good ones. If you replace the washers with better ones, you know, something thicker, or stuck a thicker washer behind it, that might help. My opinion isn't high on these, but they weren't that expensive, only a couple of dollars or something. They weren't that expensive. It relies on getting contact through the nut part and transferring back down. If you're doing a trap wire, it's probably okay because it's going to pinch the wire. If you're trying to do a spade turn or something like that, it's going to be a problem. You need to get that thicker so it actually protrudes outside of that hole in the bottom. So maybe putting a larger washer inside there, something thicker, and that'll probably be okay. What I don't like is what it's relying on to hold this thing together. What it's relying on, when you tighten this thing down to clamp it into a panel, is a tiny little lip that's on there. So if you clamp it down to a panel, that little lip right there, which you can barely even see, is what stops it getting pulled right through into the panel when you tighten the nuts up. Uh, yeah, not good. I'll put a link down below, but I'd say don't buy them. I think they're very really good. So here I just pulled apart the red one. Have a look at this one, and you can see that washer. You know, it just sits on that lip there, and it's like there's nothing near to really shear, stop that shearing off, and it's getting pulled straight into the panel. So I'm going to be sticking some washers on those. That is how it will get used. Let's give it a bit more sturdy. And in fact, this one didn't have a star washer on it. This one did, but it had an extra flat washer. Yeah, uh, not good quality. Okay, these are cable ties, as you can probably tell. But these have got these little loops on the end so you can attach them to a, a surface and then you can just cable tie uh, cables up so it's good for doing cable management that sort of thing. Now I've actually got some black ones of these somewhere, you know I can find the things. Anyway, so I bought some more black ones. Only these are white ones. Now the black ones, they have carbon black in the material. Carbon black is a UV stabiliser of, of all things. Helps reduce UV effect exposure and um, makes things more weatherproof, right? It just helps absorb the UV light. Whereas these white ones, these will go brittle and break pretty quickly, you know, probably a year or so, maybe two years, then I'll start to fail because they don't like the UV. Nylon does not like UV, not meant for outside use. But the ones which are black are more weather resistant and they will last okay. So this is why I bought black ones, but somehow I got white. Anyway, a bit of link for these. They're still good things to have. I've used these a few times, they've been really convenient. And now we have a box. Now, I have a prediction about this box. I believe there will be items on the very bottom of the box. And I believe that it will be full of airbags on the top. Protecting only the top of the box, not the bottom where it gets banged onto surfaces. <laughs> Let's see if I'm proved wrong. I've been proved wrong once, but it's generally they pack them exactly the same way every time. Airbag on top. Oh, no, no, they're probably wrong. They've finally learned. I did give them feedback. There we go. They've actually wrapped it in the airbag. Good on them. I think they've finally learned. <laughs> this is local, so it might be any links for this. These are some SanDisk SSDs, so 120 gigabyte SSD drives. I like to keep a couple of drives around, or one or two drives, for various projects, you know, if something might come up, you know, to replace a drive on a computer or something like that. At least you've got something to chuck in there. Now these are really cheap these days, these 120 gigs. I mean, they're cheap. These are like $40 in Zillow and something like that. Part of this though is I've got my Raspberry Pi, my Raspberry Pi server which I use at events. And I want to clone the hard drive because I've converted that to an SSD drive. 
and I used, I'll get it up here somewhere, I'll show you, I'll show you what I used. I did show these in a previous mail bag, but I need to build another one. So this is a metal case for the Raspberry Pi, and you can mount the Raspberry Pi in there, and it's just an enclosure. And the other part, in this box here, is a SSD adapter. Right, so this goes inside the enclosure, and you can mount an SSD on that. And then you just have to do a bit of a tweak to the Raspberry Pi. You have to make it a micro SD card with a special bootloader thing on it. So it tells it to boot from the SSD. And this plugs in with the USB port. And I've used this before. I did a video showing how to build it, I think, as well. The idea is that I've got one of those servers already running. It's already working, it's been working fine. But I like to have backups. Always like to have redundancy. Everything I do, I like to have more than one. Because if you've got more than one, you can guarantee nothing will go wrong. Whereas if you don't have more than one, you can guarantee something will go wrong at the worst possible time. So, so I featured those in previous mail bag. These are X820 V3s. I think I got those. A bit different AliExpress, could be from Banggood, kind of. So I follow them on my links and, get, and go and find them anyway. But anyway, the idea is that I can use one of these SSD drives to make a duplicate server. So I can get the existing hard drive, which I'm using in my existing server, clone it onto one of these, because it's, I think I'll use exactly the same one for that actually. Might have been a different driver, can't remember, but the same sort of capacity. Then I can have two servers which are identical, as if one server falls over, I'm going to power the other one up and carry on. Transfer some files over from the website, main website, because these are basically clones of the website we use. It's much easier to have a clone of a working system than trying to fix a broken system and starting it again. So thanks to my Patreons, it helps support the channel, helping to buy items from our bag and just help to, you know, create content because with their donations they help me to buy items to create content with me. It could be a piece of test gear I'm fixing or anything from our bag like this. Patreon donations do help me. So if you want to help support the channel and help me to buy things through my bag and keep producing more content then please consider donating using links down below. If you're interested, if you want to help support the channel, there's other ways. There's don't have to be financial support. You could just give me a thumbs up. That supports the channel. It helps push the channel along in YouTube's eyes, you know, any kind of interaction with the channel or videos very helpful so even if you just give me a thumbs up or comment down below if you just comment on videos that helps too sharing the video even better share it to your friends if you think you know next one might be interested in these cable ties share the video to them you know or these cleaning sticks share the video because that will help my channel grow and that's also very much appreciated i think we're done for this video i'll catch you next one thanks for watching bye